um, the moral of the story, that small children don't really know how to react to breasts. Well, very small children. What horrors have you experienced in green rooms or dressing rooms? <laughs> oh. Hmm. What's the best one? Uh, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and, and talk again about Bus Stop, because there's a lot of interesting characters in that show. The cast, we mesh pretty well, but there is there is always conflict. Um, uh, dressing rooms? Uh, this, this one's not exactly my story, but I was completely involved, so it was alright. Um... There was a boy, and he was a uh, theater kid in uh, high school. We had to dress backstage, and the girls dressed in the makeup room. Well, this boy just started dating this girl, and uh, he was known to be a funny guy. Well, he starts making jokes about doing it with this girl, and it, we all know he's joking. But then we hear some footsteps. Okay, <laughs> I was getting dressed once for a show I was in. Get smart. And, um, one of the little girls, it was apparent she was, like, in the sixth grade. I took my shirt off, and her eyes just went... We pull the curtains back just a little bit, and there's our director. And, uh, so we all laugh it off. He's petrified. She gets mad at him, but then everything blows over. Well, the next day, the exact same thing happens. Well, we hear footsteps, and we open it up. And then it's the director and her mom. Uh, played Dr. Lyman in the show. He is definitely kind of an uh, usually abrasive person, and it's kind of hard to get along with Tom. Like, we have no problems, but other people kind of sometimes do. And it was just one day, I think it might have been during a show or it was during Final Dress, and he was like, dude, we're going to go out. We're just all going to take our pants off, run in the girls' room. I'm like, Tom, we are not doing that. And then, like, the other guys were like, we could do that. And I was like, no, we are not doing that. That is tantamount to sexual harassment or sexual harassment. And he was like, no, we got to do it. And, and then, like, the other guys were like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, I was like, no. And so he gets his pants off. They take their pants off. <laughs> she, and I was talking to her. I was holding a conversation with her. And... She wouldn't look at me. I felt a little bit violated. He runs out. Everyone else stays in the dressing room. <laughs> and <laughs> he just walks back in, like, after running fully to the... Because the girls in the guys' dressing room, they were just right there. And he runs back in, and he's like, What the fuck, guys? <laughs> Honestly, just a bunch of pussies. So that was probably the most awkward thing. Yeah. Have you ever had an on-stage kiss? No. Yeah. I've not. All right, moving on. Concise <laughs> answer. I like it. Yes, uh, as Constantine, that was actually my first stage kiss. Um, I every single year, me and this girl got paired up. Uh, every single year, instead of kissing, our theater director had his hug or whatever. Well, this time there really wasn't a way around it because we had to PG-13 everything and I couldn't exactly, you know, throw her down and, well, yeah. and so, uh, so I had to grab her and pull her into me really hard. And the first time, of course, we hit noses and it hurt really badly. And then, um, but yeah, after that, that's, that was my first onstage kiss. My only one, actually. Actual first romance, uh, uh, plot I had in a, sh a show was the last show I did. Um, we uh, we did a s stage adaptation of Cruel Intentions, and I played uh, the gay football player. And we didn't kiss on stage, but there were other things that happened. Probably not going to go into describing it, uh, but that was the first like kind of romantic entanglement I've ever had on stage. Like I, in college theater, it's. If you have a beard, you're playing the dad, and it's most dads, at least in the plays I've encountered, don't have wives, or at least not on stage wives. Probably just bad luck.
shut the, we shut the curtains and everything blows over and then the mom understands that he's joking and then the next day the same thing happens and you'd think this guy would learn but no and then it's um our director the girl's mom and his ex-girlfriend's mom all standing there and uh this time the the director decided to bring a camera so she started taking pictures of his horrified face and uh those are now at Seth Garland, I believe. <laughs>